I made something and didn't record any of it. Okay, well, that, that's not entirely true. <laughs> I do have two videos and two in-progress photos, but that's it. Like, <clears throat> reasoning behind that is threefold. One, I didn't start this project until October 1st because I needed a palette cleanser from doing stranded color work. I was making beanies for the mountain biking team with our team logo on it. And I was waiting for a shipment of yarn to come in so I could finish the time sensitive projects. I had like three more to make and I, I couldn't work on them because I didn't have the yarn. So I started this project. So that, that was, that's number one. Number two, mountain bike races. We had one more race to go when I started this project and it was state championships. Our team did great. Our athletes did amazing. Um, so that was number two. I was busy with that. And three, I forgot. I know, I know, just have the camera rolling all the time. But who honestly wants that? Sometimes it's boring. But anyway, the project I'm talking about is the Mina Capelet from Expression Fiber Arts. It is adorable. <laughs> my son calls it my medieval peasant look. And I mean, he's not wrong. Um, so I used the suggested yarn. I used their yarn, the Buttery Bulky. It is 100% superwash merino wool. And the colorway, all about autumn. And as of this recording on a Wednesday at lunchtime, middle of October, 2023, it is not currently available. All their yarn is hand dyed, so colors come and go and they have a ton of colors and you're gonna find something to love. Trust me on that. Um, I used four, I think I used four skeins. Um, and I did the size small, medium. Now all of the sizes require over 200 stitches to start with and normally I do a long tail cast on and I wouldn't have a problem with that but I was for some reason I was weirdly worried about running out of yarn even though I didn't I have a whole extra one left over I don't know so I didn't want to worry about having enough tail for the cast on and having to take it out if I didn't have enough so I ended up just doing backwards loop, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with using that. And cast on over 200 stitches and proceeded the project. Um, you start with a seed stitch hem and then you do stockinette for a while and with some decreased rows thrown in there every once in a while for the shaping because it comes over your shoulders and it comes like this. Um, then you do the neckline then work the hood flat in stockinette with a seed stitch border. Um, <laughs> hi, puppy. And then, hi, you pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, yes, you girl. And then after you do the hood and it is your desired length, you can, yes, okay, uh, block it at that time and then do three needle bind off, which is what I did. Um, yeah, and then did three needle bind off on the hood and after I blocked it and it turned out great. It's, it's a look, isn't it, honey? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a medieval peasant, but a very cute medieval peasant. You wanna see it? Okay, cute. Are you ready for it? Insert Taylor Swift here. See, it's very medieval peasanty. You see what I mean? It's adorable. It it keeps the upper half warm, leaving your arms free. You've got a hood to prevent cold air going down the back of your neck, and I love it. It's fall colors. 
and it's adorable. Um, did I say it was 100% superwash merino wool? I think I did. Anyway, um, so the footage I have is um, video of winding the yarn. For some reason, it was giving me trouble. have a couple in progress photos one where it was matching my dress <laughs> and then the other one is I was trying it on to make sure that the hood was the right length um, so after that I put it on this try it on tubing um, this stuff have you seen this before you stick it this works on the end of your needle like so and you push it or pull it through whatever direction you're going and you put your stitches on this tubing take it off your needle so that way you can try it on um, or block it without ruining your needles if you're using wooden ones uh, so I just put it on that and Tied it up like this so I wouldn't get any water in the ends when I was blocking it. And then to put it back on your needles, you do the exact same thing. You untie it first. Stick the end back on your needle and slide it through. It is so much easier than using scrap yarn and a darning needle. 
okay because I've done that for years and I finally broke down and spent eight dollars and bought this stuff and I've only used it once but I love it so if you haven't gotten it already find some and use it okay that's my project it took about three days of stitching um, started on a Sunday continued it on the next Sunday finished it on a Monday and then Tuesday I believe it was a Tuesday that I blocked it or Wednesday I don't remember I don't remember, but yeah, about three days of stitching, um, really easy, simple palette cleanser, mindless project. We all need those. Um, the dog is whining at me, so I guess I'm done. Uh, yeah, it was enjoyable. I loved it. I'm definitely going to get some wear out of this. So, um, if you don't mind, I'm going to go let the dog out. I feel like Robin Hood. Hi, puppy.